hello everyone today we are going to see the gram staining uh, first i have to thank uh, professor hans christian gram actually because of him i'm talking about his discovery gram staining here his period was between 1853 to 1938 and he was a danish bacteriologist to tell about the gram staining first i should Uh, say what is the application and what its advantages why we need to talk about it in the microbiology gram staining is actually very very important staining technique which is used to classify the bacteria and to identify the bacteria this gives us the first level of identification not only that it's very very of low cost means even with below 10 rupees we can perform a test and it's an unbeatable tool because it gives us a first level identification by which we can start with the broad spectrum empirical antibiotic for the ill patients who require immediate therapy and uh, what is the principle behind this gram staining is the most acceptable explanation or associated with the structure and composition of the bacterial cell wall when we take the gram positive cell wall it has a tachoic acid and we can see that it has a thick peptidoglycan layer peptidoglycan is nothing but n acetyl muramic acid and n acetyl glucose amine which is bound by a peptide bond uh, here in the case of gram negative bacterial cell wall we do have a thin peptidoglycan layer lipoprotein and uh, very important the presence of lipopolysaccharide there is no tachoic acid and we can see the porin channels even here and what is the principle again the principle is not end it is continuing we do have four different stains in the gram staining when we add the basic dye all the organisms will take up the primary stain because it is a basic dye and the organism the bacteria will be acidic in nature then when we add a mordant means the iodine it can be a lugol's iodine or a gram's iodine when we add a mordant it fixes the primary stain by binding to the peptidoglycan layer third step is a decolorization step decolorization is nothing but uh, like alcohols or acetone the combination of alcohols and acetone together which is a lipid solvent that digests the lipid in the gram negative cell wall and allows the cvi complex or mvi complex that is crystal violet iodine complex or methyl violet iodine complex to come out then the counter staining is the fourth fourth step that is also a basic dye that helps to stain the unstained organisms by which we can adapt different methods of gram staining so what is the basic procedure first we have to prepare a smear heat fix the smear this i have already explained in the simple staining procedure then here we have different uh, of about seven different techniques of gram staining original one is the first column where we use gentian violet lugol's iodine absolute alcohol and bismarck brown Up after which we occur um, different modifications of the gram staining where hucker's modification is of easiest technique and quick method is also again an easy technique to adapt with any kind of hospitals or a small clinics so we can stain with any one of the following methods and air dry and observe under oil immersion how the interpretation will be as the cva complex is bound in a first kind of cell wall that is named to be gram positive cell wall that appears purple or violet in color it can be a cocci or a basal lime the if the organism takes up the secondary stain means if it is washed out with the cvi complex then it takes up the secondary stain that is pink color that they are said to be gram negative bacteria it can be again a cocci or a basal lime here i have given you some classifications like gram positive cocci examples and basal lime examples and likewise gram negative cocci examples and a basal lime examples what is mean by gram variability gram variability means when the gram positive actual gram positive organisms appear gram negative and the actual gram negative organisms appear gram positive this can happen first with the old bacterial cultures if the organism is in a stationary phase or in a phase of decline this gram variability can occur if the timing is not properly maintained especially in the third step decolorization step if the timing is not properly maintained then gram variability can occur if the reagent preparation is not proper means over dilution of the reagents can also leads to gram variability so finally uh, it's very important gram staining 
ये ईजीएस्ट टेक्निक कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव टेक्निक टू अडाप्ट विद बट टेक्निकल स्किल्स एंड एक्सपर्ट्स और नीडेड टू इंटरप्रिट द रिजल्ट एंड टू टेल द क्लिनिशियंस टू स्टार्ट विद द प्रॉपर एम्प्रिकल थेरापी थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर लिजनिंग इफ यू फाइंड दैट द वीडियो इज़ बेनिफिशियल यू कैन लाइक सब्सक्राइब